Hello guys and welcome to TechWolf. In this video I'm going to show you how to create multiple accounts on one computer or on one PC. This might be useful if you for example want to use one computer in your family and when you want to give access to different users for example your mother, your brother, your sister access to the same computer and when they access that computer they have only their data. This means that when they upload something or when they log in somewhere, when they use some browsers this is personalized only for those particular users and we will also add these users into groups and in previously I showed you how to do this in Windows 10 and in this video I'm going to show you how you can do this in Windows 11 and to start I will show you that currently this computer has only one account I will sign out from this account and you will see that currently this particular instance of computer it has only one account Bugatti but I will create another four accounts which are able to log in into this computer so I will log in now with my main administrator account for this computer and now let's start by creating these accounts and to create accounts go to start icon and right click on it and click on settings once you will be here on settings here on the left hand side you will see this tab accounts click into accounts and scroll down until you will see other users and click on these other users and here let's create accounts and I will create four accounts like I mentioned Bugatti 1, Bugatti 2, Bugatti 3 and Bugatti 4 so click on add account here at the bottom you will see I don't have this person's sign in information this means that you don't want to give them any emails or anything like that so click on I don't have this person's information and here click on add user without Microsoft account here give a username like I mentioned I will be giving Bugatti 1 and give this user a password and here if we scroll down we need to also give these security questions I will just select any questions and I will give answers to all of them one two three you can give it whatever you want guys as I'm creating this only for the demonstration purposes and once you have completed all these three security questions click on next and this account as you can see Bugatti one is created and now let's repeat this process three more times And now we have created four more additional accounts. And to check this, we can log out from this computer, sign out. And now if we will be signing in here on the left hand side, you can see that currently there are one, two, three, four, five accounts. Where Bugatti, which is my account, you can log in with any of these accounts. But let's log in with my administrator account. And now I will show you how to add users to different groups. Some different groups on Windows are for the purposes. For example, if you want to restrict some actions for particular users, that's why you create groups. And if you have multiple users using the same PC, for example, you can allow them or restrict them from doing some actions for example you can restrict some users or some users which are in particular group to download files or install files or interact with operating system so to do this here in search type in computer management hit enter and you will get redirected to this windows and here in the first tab on the left hand side you will see local users and groups click into there and here you will see this second tab which is groups click into the groups and here you can see different groups and as you can see one group is users there is also administrators if you will add a user to group of administrators this means that he will be able to do exactly the same as you pretty much everything on this computer but for example if you would add user to group guests then guest group has a minimal access and it is suitable for temporary or high restricted users they cannot make any system wide changes or access most resources you can add user accounts to this group if you want these accounts to have very hard restrictions so they are not able to do pretty much anything but if you add them to users then users have a limited permissions for example they cannot install software or change system settings without administrator approval and this is best choice for restricting downloads and other actions and also to see or if you would want to add users to some particular group you can click on this group double click on it we clicked on users group and here you can see that under members are all those accounts which we created this means that by default all those accounts 
phones on Windows 11, they automatically get added to users group, which means that these accounts like Bugatti 1, Bugatti 2, Bugatti 3 and Bugatti 4, they already have limited permissions and they cannot install software or change system settings without administrator approval. But like I mentioned, you could add them to other group. For example, let's double click into the guest group and let's add some accounts into the guest group. So to do that, click on add and here you type in account name which you would want to add. I will add Bugatti one and click OK. So as you can see, this is now added. Let's add also a Bugatti two, Bugatti two and hit on OK. And now click on apply. And now these accounts Bugatti one and Bugatti two, these are added now into the guest. So they have even bigger restrictions and then these accounts which are under users. And here, if you would want, you can remove these Bugatti one. You just click on it and click on button remove and Bugatti two and remove. And these accounts Bugatti three and Bugatti four now are under, under group users. And if we click into guests, then Bugatti one and Bugatti two accounts are under group guests. This is how you can create accounts and how you can add these accounts under different groups. So these users which are using your particular PC have different permissions. And now one more step before we go, let's check if these all accounts on this PC are secure. And to do that, let's check firewall and antivirus settings on this PC. And to do that, also let's close this all down actually. Let's save this, apply and OK and let's close this and now let's right click on the start icon. Let's go into the settings, privacy and security here on the left hand side and here select Windows security. And here we need to open this virus and threat protection. Let's double click into it and make sure that it is active. And here in this window on the left hand side, as you can see, there is firewall and network protection. Let's click into it and we can see that firewall is on and the on domain network firewall is on and on private network also firewall is on and in public network firewall is also on. So these accounts are all secure. And if you would want to make sure that these updates and these firewalls are updated automatically, let's close this window down. Let's close this window down. Let's right click again on start icon. Let's go into settings and here last tab is Windows update. Just click into this Windows update and here make sure that get the latest updates as soon as they are available. Click on this on. So this is enabled on your PC and updates are automatically implemented. So yes guys, hope that you found this video useful. If you did leave a like, share this video, subscribe to the channel if you're new and see you in the next one.